Back in the day when Elon Musk told us about the risks originating from AI, nobody pondered. And as we speak right now, there are more than 50 AI expert developers who have voiced their concerns on how AI might even consume humanity. The list is there on the CAIS website. And when you look into that, there are more than 100 people who have actively recorded their reservations. But what do these experts have to say and how will this impact strategy making? Let's find out. Before I jump into what these experts have to say, let me discuss their major pain point. It's AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence. Let me explain this in the words of Eliza Yudkowsky. The guy has served the field of AI for many years and worked on several projects. But according to him, one thing kept growing inside his head, and that is that AI might soon get out of human control, which led him to initiate a project set to mitigate the urgency of the situation in the future. Despite his efforts, he considered his attempt a failure, acknowledging the incomprehensible nature of modern AI systems, complex matrices of floating point numbers guided toward better performance without complete understanding. The uncertainty was just too big. The prompts and their outcomes and the fact that AI could find loopholes in these systems was absolutely terrifying. Not only can AI find loopholes, it also has a tendency to misuse them. Now, this is called AGI, when these systems can become so powerful that they cease to rely on human commands anymore. I mean, if you tend to imagine the potential disruptions this could lead to, you might not be able to sleep at night. What if AI decided to turn the whole financial system around? What if AI directs missiles without any human intentions? What if it launches a nuke? Do we have the answers? No, but what could possibly lead to such situations? Hunger. Eliza claimed that AI companies in their relentless pursuit of scaling AI might eventually create an intelligence surpassing humanity's capabilities. The timeline for this event remains uncertain, but it is written in the cards to happen after several breakthroughs on the scale of transformers. Eliza foresaw the potential risks of building an AI smarter than humans, yet poorly understood. While some envisioned positive outcomes, he emphasized the absence of a widely accepted scientific consensus or a sound engineering plan to ensure safety. He also highlighted the limitations of the current paradigm, expressing concerns that prevailing methods would likely fail to create a superintelligence aligned with human values. He elaborated on the challenges of aligning AI systems to human values and the inherent difficulty of predicting the actions of a superintelligent entity. Eliza emphasized the need for a comprehensive, serious approach toward the impending challenges of superintelligence, criticizing the lack of urgency and seriousness within the community. He lamented the cavalier attitude of some leaders in the field, highlighting the gravity of the situation and the potential dire consequences if proactive measures were not taken. The more disturbing part is that there is not just one Eliza worried about these situations. There are hundreds of them, yet we see no commendable actions from the corridors of power. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI and a pivotal figure in the AI sphere, and Jeffrey Hinton, often regarded as the AI godfather who recently parted ways with Google, joined numerous prominent individuals in endorsing the dire message that we're on the brink of a crisis. NPR's clarion call for oversight and constraints on AI systems has grown louder in recent months, fueled by both public interest and profit-driven enterprises adopting the latest iterations of AI programs. In a distinct declaration published in March, now supported by over 30,000 individuals, including tech magnates and researchers, a plea was made for a six-month hiatus on training AI systems surpassing the potency of GPT-4, the most recent incarnation of the ChatGPT chatbot. An unambiguous caution reckoned through the walls. Advanced AI could herald a monumentous transformation in the course of life on Earth and necessitates meticulous planning and management with commensurate caution and resources. In a recent NPR interview, Hinton, a pivotal figure in AI's evolution, disclosed that AI programs are progressing towards surpassing their creators at an accelerated pace, surpassing prior expectations. He shared, quote, I thought for a long time that we were like 30 to 50 years away from that. Now, I think we may be much closer, maybe only five years away from that." Unquote. 
Dan Hendricks, the director of the Center for AI Safety, highlighted immediate perils related to AI. He emphasized the pressing dangers of systemic bias, misinformation, malicious use, cyber attacks, and weaponization that AI poses in the near future. Hendricks stressed the necessity for society to concurrently tackle all these risks, asserting, quote, societies can manage multiple risks at once. It's not either or, but yes and. From a risk management perspective, just as it would be reckless to exclusively prioritize present harms, it would also be reckless to ignore them as well. If you think the debate has ended, let me tell you that there is much, much more. A letter from OpenAI called Introducing Superintelligence sheds light on the fact that superintelligence is a new technology that could have a huge effect on people's lives. It might be able to help us solve some of the most important problems in the world. If it goes the other way, though, it can be very bad. They say that everyone in the AI diasporia needs to understand the hugely bad potential of superintelligence, which could cause a lot of problems and even wipe out or destroy humanity. These are tools, most likely AI tools, that are made to work with people and help them as loyal workers. OpenAI says they're sorry that they don't have a way to steer or control a possibly superintelligent AI and keep it from going crazy. At the moment, the only way to align AI is with human control, but these methods won't work for superintelligence. To solve this problem, people need to make new science and technological discoveries. OpenAI also talks about some parts of their plan to solve this problem in this letter. As of now, they're working on making an automated alignment researcher that is about as smart as a person. The company thinks it can scale its efforts and repeatedly align superintelligence by using a lot of computing power. The steps are creating a trained method that can be used on a large scale, verifying the model that is made, and putting a lot of stress on the alignment system. That's how you can understand it. People have never known how to find cancer in the body. To do that, they made tomography tools that can look inside a person. If it hadn't been designed well, it would have hurt us instead of helping to save many lives. It sees things that people can't see with the naked eye, and then we can plan the fix. The alignment methods will be the same. They will help humans figure out what's wrong with an AI, but they will fix the problem themselves instead of passing it on to us. It's more like a computerized system for tomography and chemotherapy. One system figures out what the problem is and then helps the other system fix it without any help from a person. In short, OpenAI will use AI systems to help evaluate other AI systems so that AI systems can be used to evaluate hard jobs that humans can't do well. The company also wants to know and manage how their models apply what they know to jobs that aren't being watched. Also, OpenAI is looking for ways to automate the search for behavior and internal processes in their systems that aren't working right. To do this, they say they do deliberate detection tests. As they learn more about the issue, they will change the areas they want to study and begin looking into new ones. Sam Altman and his colleagues are putting together a group of the best machine learning experts and engineers to solve the problem of how to align superintelligences. In order to do this, OpenAI will give away 20% of their computing power for the next four years. This goal and the idea of superintelligence taking over in less than 10 years seem very far-fetched to me. I think that if we work hard, we can get ready for superintelligence before it happens. OpenAI calls their main basic research team the Super Alignment Team, but they expect more than one team to help them come up with new methods and make them work on a larger scale. The company also said in a vague way that they want to show proof and arguments that will persuade people in the safety and machine learning communities that they have fixed the problem. They state, quote, we are willing to share our results and work together with other researchers. Keep your fingers crossed, though, because I'm not sure of that. This area of study is being led by Ilya Sutskiver, who is the co-founder and chief scientist of OpenAI, and Jan Leike, who is the head of alignment. This group is made up of researchers and engineers from OpenAI's old alignment team, as well as experts from other departments within the company. The company is also actively looking for great thinkers and engineers to join this project, so AI experts who are out of work have nothing to complain about. That's all the talk about one team. They're now making another. 
This team's job is to keep up the work that the company is already doing to make models like ChatGPT safer. But will they be successful? Let's wait and watch. Subscribe to AI Symbiosis for more news from the world of AI. I've made another video on how AI might give you unfair advantages over common people. It's on your screen. Click now and I'll catch you there in a moment.